It is now clear to me that the problem of Nigeria, most of the times, is not even the leaders anymore. The problem of Niger, na Nigerians. I have, I have made video like three times talking about the increment in the price of cement. You have seen multiple times when they wanted to sell cement for 4,000 something. I complain. They wanted to sell for nine. I complain. They are planning to sell 9,000. I complain. Just this weekend here, I dropped that video about six days ago, I be one week ago, that they are planning to sell cement for 9,000. Boy cement. Boy cement. Management and, and their chairman or whatever now decided to say that they will start selling their cement now for 3,005. As a way of, of verifying, I had to put a call across to people I know there that are in Boa to say, ah, this thing that Boa cement are saying that because of the hardship in the Nigerian economy and the cost of building materials, they have decided to drop their price of cement to 3,005. Is it true? They say yes. But do you know they told me that that thing they did, they are regretting it. I say why? They say the distributors, their major distributors, now refuse to come and buy some and say, why would they reduce the price? You now see that now Nigerians with the problem of Nigerians, this is the same thing that is happening with oil distributors in this country. If government decide to say they want to reduce the price of petrol now, Distributors of petrol will just say they're not going to do it again. See, but it now goes to the federal government not knowing their stand or what or what they should even do. Where do I keep saying this thing? Where do we have price regulatory agencies in Nigeria that the federal government is paying when they can say a thing and it will not stand? For God's sake, you are doing business in the country, it is not benefiting the citizens, selfishness will not let you. We are complaining. I am using my platform to complain. To say that, see, people are suffering. And then the owner of a business who is selling cement have reduced it to 3,005. You, when they distribute the cement, is not happy. You say, no, why are you going to reduce in price for waiting and him they produce? Another person out there who has monopoly of this business is now engineering some of the distributors to come and misbehave. You see, when I tell you sometimes, you people over glorify and wish to be like some people who have kept a lot of us in abject po po poverty in this country. For some days now, you are going to notice I've not been posting country. I've not been, I have not been. I just the one game myself. I know if you see my face, you will not say I know to feel well. But I was not happy. People were calling my attention to see that have I seen this public memo that uh, producers of cement are trying to re review. I say I only know of one I saw, which is Boa. I don't know of the others for now. Somebody now say one other major uh, producer is trying to reveal his own price. I say good for us because I see no reason why cement in particular will be sold for that, for that amount. They even brought one very, very, very anyhow reason that because Nigeria want to adopt doing concrete roads, that is why cement should be higher. Are you even, are you even on a normal for this country at all? People go appear to want to talk through with their plan. When I go see waiting white, when I go one call them black. Do you know that for, for some reasons, producers of noodles, for instance, I know the reason why the noodles is selling for a particular amount, but the distributors are the reason. Producer will say, okay, I am selling for you 40 Naira. Who they buy and go go as I say, he won't sell for 100 Naira. Why are you doing like that? Now you are going to say the cost of transporting it. Waiting you buy for 40 Naira, for instance. After cost of transportation and everything. If you gain 30 Naira, I never do. My people, they want to gain 60 Naira. That is the evil. Some of them are happy that as they go up, they are happy. Somebody made me understand that our subsidy, when then they remove for you, they benefit other neighboring countries and now we the so far. Am. I keep saying this thing. If you say subsidy is gone, why are we not feeling the direct impact? We are not pay subsidy again. Good. Why are we not feeling it as citizens in Nigeria? 
This is the only country where we don't respect the, 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 the prices of goods, not the respect law of gravity. What goes up never come down. All of you need to desist from this character. If you know you have police station, you have you are selling petrol, you are selling gas or whatever. And Pedro Gomez has appealed to you people because you have association. No one are the pity human being. All this money one are the gather for this eight. Now here you go end. Vanity upon vanity. Why is it that it's not giving some of you joy when you see people living a normal life? All of you travel out of this country. You see how developed countries work. I was in Scotland earlier this year. Scotland, they are an oil producing state. And the United Kingdom. Also part of the United Kingdom, by the way. But do you know that? Do you know that? That's some more oil we didn't get when we even reach our own. If you go that place, you see development. They know they use them play. You know what we get for this country? You know what we get? We're not supposed to be super like this. I mean, I posted a video that they were a one Cameroonian boy. They ridicule us. How our currency is not even valuable as, as their own at the moment. Please, this video should reach the relevant authorities. You can do, see all of you that are part of the chains of distribution for goods and services in this country. You can do better. Somebody caught my attention that one part of FCDA, I be FCTA, which is Abuja Environmental Protection Board, that there is one part, I'm calling your attention now, Abuja Environmental Protection Board area theory. I am calling your attention now. There is one department in your office who is responsible for paying all these people, mama, when they sweep for road. Those people are not paying them their complete money. Do you know how much some of these old women transport to, the, to, to, to come and sweep every morning? At least they go spend like 1000 or 500 to come up for their house to come sweep down in the morning. Multiply that by 30 days. You are paying them 25,000 naira. How much is minimum wage? Minimum wage that we know is 33,000 and then they pay coppers. How come people, mama, when they sweep every day when they keep federal capital clean and collecting 25,000? Somebody is there eating that money. Nobody is talking about it. I am even talking this because I know close people who have done that job. They keep complaining. Sometimes three months they no pay them. Not because they no pay. They pay who supposed to pay them. He go one is that money. Take go do your own personal project. People pay rent. They of high blood pressure. You people can do better. Some of you that are middle men, distributors doing business, you are worse than even the leaders themselves. It is not good. Let's be humans. I understand say money you no know they do man, but until you begin to live your life, make money they do you. You will start having compassion and the humanity in you will be showing itself. Kai, we can do better Nigerians.